In a future where disease, pollution, and corporate greed have made getting a delicious meal more difficult than ever, the residents of Night City must prepare their food without eggs, dairy, or meat. This is Cyberpunk Kitchen. We will recreate meals from the action role-playing game Cyberpunk 2077 using ingredients that are readily available. So let's get started with today's recipe and see what a cyberpunk future might taste like. The in-game reference for today's recipe is a conversation between convicted murderer Joshua Stevenson, Braindance producer Rachel Kasich, NCPD officer Vasquez, and V, during the quest, there is a light that never goes out. Time to grab a bite to eat. Where are we eating? Uh, Pie Z. They do a great cup of coffee. Gotta kill a cheesecake at Pie Z. I'm lactose intolerant. How about vegan avocado ice cream then? Because vegans and lactose intolerance are a thing, ice cream that contains no meat, no eggs, and no dairy is already widely available from grocery stores and ice cream parlors. As part of the research for this video, I felt it was my duty to try as many of these products as possible. I didn't know if they would taste good, so I made sure not to share them with anyone else. I didn't find any avocado ice cream per se, but I found many products where I couldn't tell the difference between the dairy and non-dairy varieties. There's one exception. Products based on coconut milk all taste like coconut. I had never made my own ice cream before this video, so I did some research. I purchased an ice cream machine from Tractor Supply Company of all places for just $30. I needed a recipe too. My first attempt was a recipe made from coconut cream. It worked, but a can of coconut cream, as opposed to coconut milk, was over $5. In combination with the other ingredients, it would be cheaper to buy ready-made ice cream than to try and make my own. I finally came up with a recipe using oat milk based coffee creamer. More on that later. The ice cream churn I purchased uses a bowl that is cooled below freezing. I pretty much store the bowl in the freezer so that it's always ready to go. I imagine that the insides are filled with the same goop that comes in cold packs used for shipping frozen food. Cool the coffee creamer in the refrigerator, but don't freeze it. Measure out one and a half cups of chilled non-dairy creamer into a mixing bowl. Add a full tablespoon of powdered confectioner sugar to the cream and mix well with a whisk. The creamer I'm using is already flavored. If using unflavored creamer, you may wish to add a teaspoon of vanilla extract and a second tablespoon of sugar. Add the cream mixture to the ice cream maker's bowl. Attach and activate the mixing motor. I wrap the bowl in a dish towel to prevent condensation from forming on the outside of the mixer. While the ice cream is churning, grate two squares of semi-sweet chocolate. Non-dairy baking chocolate should be easy to find in the baking aisle of your local grocery store. Don't break the squares off the bar. Hold the bar by the wrapper to keep your fingers away from the grater and so you don't end up with chocolate all over your fingers or flesh in your ice cream. In about 10 minutes of churning, you should notice the ice cream starting to form up. Wait until almost all the liquid cream is frozen and add the grated chocolate to the mix. Continue churning until the chips are mixed in. The mixing process should take about 20 minutes in total. Remove the mixing motor and the paddle. The ice cream can be left in the mixing bowl or transferred to a separate bowl, but in either case, chill the ice cream in the freezer for about an hour before serving. Let's start with the nutrition. Well, all I can say is, if you're counting calories, ice cream might not be for you. 
Let's see what the primo meter has to say. This recipe gets a preem because I can now make great tasting ice cream anytime I want it. With just three ingredients, it's simple to make. And finally, imagine how impressed your dinner guests will be when you serve them custom made ice cream. So technically, I didn't make vegan avocado ice cream, but I did make ice cream for the first time, and I have to be honest, it was pretty good. Now that I know I can make ice cream, I can experiment with different ingredients and different flavors of creamer. Avocado doesn't really sound all that appealing, but then again, it did taste good in V's favorite pizza, so you never know. See the link below if you want to see my video on making V's favorite pizza. I'll update the text of the video if I come up with a recipe for avocado ice cream. Let me know in the comments below if you try making your own ice cream and what you think of the results. As always, thank you for watching.